Hello everyone and welcome to a FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. Now, I haven't made a single FIFA video this entire year. So, I figured let's do one now that we are at the tail end of FIFA. And uh, because, as you will see in a moment, Team of the Season SBC. Hey FIFA fan, you completed 6 of the Team of the Season weekly SBCs. You have been awarded an ultimate pack that includes a guaranteed team of the season player. So, that's the reason why I wanted to do this. And also wanted to kind of show off uh, some of my teams that I've been using. This one is really nothing special. Uh, I will go over to my first team though. And uh, this is a team that I've been using recently. It's got team of the season Subasic. We got an untradeable... Team of the season Marquinhos, we got Adam Lalana, which I like a lot actually. Uh, we got uh, the unlockable, untradeable Gilfi Sigurdsson. We got the uh, uh, player of the month Son. We got Slatan Ibrahimovic, of course. We got Sadio Mane. So there's a lot of players in here that I, that I really like. But what I do in game actually, I switch to a 4 1 2 1 2 2. And then I put Gilfi over here, Adam Lallana over there, then I have uh, Son as my cam, and uh, he is fantastic, he's probably my favorite player on this game. As you can see, 72 games played, 50 goals, 23 assists, as a cam, I think he's absolutely brilliant, but that is not the point here. The point is... That we are going to pack ourselves a team of the season player, and if there's... I'm just going to be happy, or I'm hopeful for any of these players on the screen. Because I think pretty much every everyone that is not a special card has a team of the season. Yes indeed, it is. So if I get any of those, or if I even get uh, Stubasic or Adam Lalana, I'm going to be decently satisfied. But uh, I'm not... I'm not expecting much. I'm just hopeful. So here we go. If I get, if I don't get a walkout, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed, I must say. So here we go. Come on. Oh, it's a walkout. It's a walkout. I see some people get some insane players in here. Oh, two team of the season. Two team of the season. It's going to be Polish. Oh my god. No. Oh, I got trolled hard. I got trolled hard, 88, that's, that's not very good, is it? I thought it was going to be Robert Lewandowski, oh my god, I just got trolled. 88 rated, only 88, and so, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. it's not, not, oh my. Okay, 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 okay. I've seen some people get some insane packs, but <laughs> I know it's two team of the season and it's untradeable, but <sighs> I think I could have got it. Why couldn't I have gotten something better? You know what? There are some team of the season SVCs out right now, and it's we have some tradable ones. So we, we're going to have to sacrifice two of our team of the season players. So let's just go ahead and do that because I'm never going to use any of those. So. Let's go special card, and then go low to high, and where do we have, we're, we're going to put in Suarez and Tjordzic. Uh, then Donkers is uh, one that I actually packed in one of my untradeable packs that I decided to use, so let, let, let's see what players we can uh, sacrifice here. They're probably going to have to be around 80 or so rated. But that pack, that, that was not, that was not very good. So let's see. Don't really have that many high rated players. But thanks to uh, those players that I have in right now. They are decently high rated. So hopefully, hopefully this can work out. Alright, so this is where I'm going to have to, I guess, sacrifice. The only one in here that actually costs coins is uh, going to be Borja Valero. And uh, I don't know how much he... Okay, it goes for a couple of K, but uh, whatever. I tried to put in Dembele. It didn't work out. So here we go. These are the players that I'm giving up. These two players that I got in my untradeable team of the season pack. Unfortunately, as I said, not very good. Never going to use them. 
not even a super sub. So here we go, Team of the Saiyan, Team of Saiyan, Team of the Season, tradable player. Which of course means that I'm going to be able to sell this guy, so at least I get a little bit of profit from doing all these packs. But here we go, tradable, Team of the Season, come on, be good to me. No, it's not even a walkout. Not even a Walker Turkish League player. Is that your Tosun? Indeed, it is Tosun. Oh no, dear, dear in me. It's pretty much discard value. No, no, this is not the way. This is not the way that I wanna. That I wanna end end this with. I will see if I'll be able to do one more tradable pack. Alright, so I'm going to be able to do one more if I want to, but I have to give up an untradable Oblag, which I'm fine with. Uh, we have ourselves an untradable Leander Den Donker. I know he's probably a pretty good substitute player, but uh, other than that, of course, we got Tosin, the one that we just packed, which is basically discard value. So, I know I'm risking risking it a little bit here, putting in, putting in someone like Den Donker, who, who is... Looks like a very good card, but I'm never going to use him in my main squad. So let's see. Third time's the charm. Come on now, be at least something that is worth more than 50k. Oh no. Oh. I risked that for Fernando. Fernando. 87 rated Fernando. How much is he going for? Oh. Oh. So I just sacrificed myself at Dendonker for basically nothing. Basically nothing. That was not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Alright, so before we end things off, I actually got one more pack. This time around it's for beating the daily knockout tournament. Uh, we got a free tradable team of the season and uh, I changed up the team uh, just a little bit. I switched out uh, Subasic for uh, Legend Van de Sar. He was my favorite goalkeeper last year, but uh, Because I wasn't very satisfied with Subasic, so I'm trying out Van de Sar and it definitely seems to have worked out because we got one tradable team of the season so Whatever happens, we make over 20,000 coins from this, so let's, let's, let's hope that our luck is a little bit better than it has been throughout this video. So come on. No, it's, it's not, it's not a walkout. It's not a walkout. It's going to be Jorgensen. He actually looks very, very decent. 76 pace, 85 defending, 90 physical. He looks pretty decent, but of course he's nothing that... I would probably ever use. Maybe it would be like a second team with him and Okore, but uh, other than that, it's not really that meh. I would have hoped for a little bit more, but uh, I'm not going to gam be gambling on those uh, on those uh, team of the season packs any longer because, whoops, didn't mean to do that because I don't. No, didn't. What? There we go. Because. Yes, as you've seen, my luck hasn't been the greatest. I pulled Jorgensen, I pulled Fernando, I pulled that Polish guy that absolutely trolled me. So, other than that, yeah, I'm. Th this, has, this has not been very successful in my opinion. But uh, as I said, I will be able to sell this Jorgensen, and I will pro and I could possibly make like a second team. With that kind of coins, but uh, I don't. Let's actually see how much you go for. I'm I'm guessing, 22k. Yeah, tw 24. Okay, 24k. It's a little bit more than 22k, but other than that, thank you very guys very much for watching. I I'm actually very happy that I managed to win that tournament. It took me, I think, nine tries to win this, to win this thing. And uh, my opponent, I, I don't know if actually rage quit, uh, rage quit at the end, since uh, the game disconnected. But uh, I, I don't think he personally rage quit because I was only one nil up in the 30th minute. So I think the game just quit out on him, honestly. But anyway, that was 
one of that was probably my worst pack opening of the year considering the pulls that I could have gotten because previously this year I've actually pulled some pretty decent players uh, none of them will none of them will show up here though oh, because I pretty much uh, uh, I gotten rid of most of them, but uh, Jurgensen, of course, those players you have seen in uh, in this uh, episode. I also pull, actually pulled a man of the match son he, when he was 85 rated and going for around 300k. That is probably my best pull since FIFA 12. Uh, then I also pulled Hugo Lloris in one of the two rare player upgrade packs, and I've used him as you can see for over 300 games, so I like him a lot. I also managed to pull Kevin De Bruyne in, uh, I think, an untradeable 1, 125k pack a long time ago. Uh, and I think that's pretty much everyone that I've been able to pull. As I said, Kyung Ming Sun also pulled a company very early on. Uh, pulled an all black untradeable, I guess. Untradeable. I pulled an untradeable Kante a while ago, but uh, other than that. Those are pretty much my best pack pulls of the year. Sun is definitely the one that helped me a lot. And uh, I decided to just... Uh, I, I, I can't... If I remember correctly, I actually sold, in, uh, sold him on when he was 200k. And I, I was trying to build some other team because I was kind of getting bored in using, using uh, the team that I was currently using. But uh, in the end, I decided to go for this this uh, player of the month son and uh, as I previously said he's probably my favorite player on this entire game he's absolutely fantastic but other than that uh, I guess I'll sell down this Jorgensen thankfully it's tradable so I'll be able to do that but anyway thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed it I will see you guys next time goodbye